What's it like doing comedy with the, uh, with the woke police breathing down your neck and maybe kissing it a bit? <laughs> <laughs> can't say anything now without the woke police getting involved. No, you can't. Can't even, can't compliment a woman. Big rack. Can't call a kid special needs. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, it's the, oh, what's the, oh, no. Someone's been a problematic boy. Oh, not again. Oh, no, please don't take me off and fuck me. Oh, no, sir, sir. Uh, I'm Tom Walker, a.k.a. Jonathan Pye, and mm. normally that is my full title. Mm. I came up with a character pretending to be a news reporter who gets angry about the state of the world, and it did very well, and it sort of turned into a live act. And a lot of sort of live comedians looked at me for several years going, look at this joker, mm. and now all of them are doing it. So I was sort of a pioneer. Jonathan Pye is a newsreader having a breakdown. In a way, yes. In terms of newsreader breakdowns, where on this scale would you say that Pi sits? You've got the uh, woman swearing, of course. Mm. Yeah. Um, where on that spectrum would you say Jonathan Pi fits in? He's not the latter. No. He's probably nearer the first one. Yeah, nearer can't, that one. Can't stop looking at it. Mm. Um, well, really, that's, that's, that to me is not really about that man's private life. It's more about a six-year-old trying to FaceTime. <laughs> So, sorry, sorry news story about the uh, troubles that the elder generation have with technology. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Mm. Uh, I mean, you're actually, uh, hello, actually hello? right. Is this, is this? Hello, <laughs> can, you, can you hear me? That's, that's what I imagine he's <laughs> saying in that. He clearly was suffering with mental health. I mean, this is some footage from, from the, his coverage of the Queen's funeral. You know, I, I do think his tone was maybe, maybe yeah. <laughs> slightly wrong towards the Not end. Not particularly reverent. About the, the beginnings of Jonathan Pye. I, originally, I thought uh, Jonathan Pye would actually be sort of funny rather than just shouting at pol politicians. So mm. the, first, the first video I ever did was uh, years before I redid it, um, and it was Jonathan Pye who accidentally shits himself whilst reporting from the cenotaph. And that's where I kind of wanted mm. it to go. Yeah. Um, and then it was also him outside. Because that's, sorry, that's quite funny. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. But now I guess you're sort of more in the space where, you know, stepdads are going, brilliant. This stuff. This guy, he gets this it. This guy, yeah. Brilliant, nails yeah. it again, again. He's nailed it again. He's like, he's like a fuck. Sandra, come indoors. He's like, nailed it again. He's nailed it again. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I think you're quite right. You're quite right. But shitting yourself at the cenotaph, I mean, that's my speed. That's right that's up there. That's funny. That's right up there. It was him um, trying a Liverpool accent. He's nailed it. He's shot on the cenotaph. He's nailed it again. <laughs> Big sloppy poo on the war memorial. This guy, brilliant. Now that this is cutting satire. Is Shit on, the, shit on the war memorial, big poo on a poppy. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's much more up my alley, so to speak, big than uh, you know, a jokes about Keir Starmer. Yeah, do you feel, do you feel trapped by the success? Because obviously you've got, you've got to ride whatever train comes your way, right? A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, Trump comes along, boom, dollar. Uh, for me, Sorry, what were those two know, things you just said? I went boom dollar. Now this is another thing I was going to bring up. You're, 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 you're essentially a middle-aged man on the internet. <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how, old I, you, how old are you? I'm 45. 45 literally halfway. Which, which sort of in YouTube years does sort of make you a nonce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, sort I'm of not on TikTok yet, because no. that makes you, an, a, a, you know, a, well, one, you'd, you'd a sort be, of a baby be, paedophile you'd be in, rather you'd, than You'd a, be in jail, I think, if you yes, were on exactly. TikTok. Um, uh, because there is this sort of unspoken thing about your videos where, you know, middle-aged man, Shouting, what was at the edge of a park? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always on the edge. Is, are you not allowed within 50 feet of a, a playground? Is that what's going on? Always on the edge. Uh, no, you just can't, uh, I don't, you can't show their faces. Is that what, that's, that's is that what, um, is that what Jonathan Pye is short for? Can't show their faces. Janonsathan Piedophile? <laughs> Piedophile. Janonsathan Piedophile. Piedo. <laughs> Mr. 
Men, we need to talk about it. No, not the Mandalorian, not Rick and Morty, your mental health. <coughs> I know what you guys are thinking. Uh, I'm a level 82 mage warlock, they don't have mental health problems. Well, even warlocks get sad sometimes. I'm not too proud to admit, I've talked to therapists in the past. My struggle began when they started letting women on Match of the Day. I spent days in bed eating gelatin straight from the packet, commenting underneath Daily Mail articles about the new I'm a Celebrity lineup. Who's that? It was a dark time. This week, our paid partnership is with BetterHelp. BetterHelp connects you to a credentialed therapist who has trained to listen and has years of experience helping fatty, fatty, sad, sads. If you're going through a bad breakup, that's not relevant to this audience, let's change that. If you're stuck on level 12 of the original Tomb Raider and can't see the woods from the trees, use the link in the description. It will take you to their site. After a few questions, BetterHelp will match you to a therapist that suits you best. You can do all this via phone call, video call, or stream it live from your sweaty gaming pods. You'll usually be matched within 48 hours, so you can get started started right away. Visit betterhelp.com slash fintaylor and get a special discount off your first month. Before a 45 year old man mm -hmm. knocking about the internet, yep. trying to find a younger audience? Uh, I mean, it's certainly... There's none in there. <laughs> so were you a comedian before the um, viral success? No. What were you? Uh, I was an out work actor for 20 years. Did you do any, did you get any acting work at all? I was in an episode of Heartbeat. Wow. Mm. And so... Uh, and, I, and I once played uh, Tom Parker Bowles in a TV movie about Prince William. Bet you haven't got that in your fucking research notes. Uh, no, because it's uh, boring as fuck. <laughs> now, I now let's was move on. one... Because before this, I was actually a, a failed crisis actor. Crisis actor? Yeah, I was auditioning to be one of the Parkland victims, but... Um, Apparently they didn't like my Australian take on it. Very good. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so, t Twitter and Facebook. This is where you were initially big. YouTube, YouTube Twitter, Facebook. Facebook. You know, because we put clips out of this out on TikTok, which as we've discussed, you're not allowed to join legally. No. <laughs> um, legally barred from joining TikTok. But we put our clips out and it's, it's amazing, you know. It's, it's mainly um, Japanese schoolgirls kiss, yes, like, kiss, yeah. kissing each other while they listen to the clips. Right. They touch each other a bit as well, I think. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm, I, I don't, I don't, you don't, you don't, I don't listen you in don't like you. In. You don't engage but, with your audience. No, I don't engage no. with the audience. Um, Fair enough. I um, would. Of course you would, yeah. yeah. <laughs> our live shows are quite different. I think it's my point I'm making. I think so. I think yeah. you attract, you know. How many intervals do you have to have because of the bladders? <laughs> <laughs> what, because of their bladders? Yes. Um, I swear to God, people do get up and go for a piss a lot. Obviously, it's been a theme of the last few years about how social media has ushered in a post-truth age. Um, yes. It's hard for people to know what's real and what's not. And I mean, do you find it annoying as a comedian on Twitter now that Twitter puts these um, little notes underneath your videos to make, people, make sure people know? Do you find that annoying, does it? <laughs> if that did happen, that would really annoy does me. That, does that annoy you? <laughs> Is that annoying? <laughs> it's annoying, isn't it, when they have to put when they that, have to point it out. They have to point it out, yeah. Registered nonce. Yeah. Wow. Lovely. I'd love that. Saves you knocking on doors. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, some fan mail from Katie. Why don't you read that out? Fan mail from Katie, age nine. At school, we've been told to stop using the word mong out of respect for students who are disabled. That's all well and good, but what are we meant to call the kids who aren't disabled but have uh, really thick glasses that make their eyes look huge? I don't know. People of mong? People of mong, yeah. Is that the right one? I don't yeah. Know. I'm trying to think of what you can call them. Mm. Thicker? Window looker. Big thick eye mong? No, because that's, no, that's really, using yeah, mong. No, 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 I get it. I don't think we're, um, we're finding the right people, really, to be politicians. I think if you want to be president of the United States, the chances are you're a narcissist. Yeah. I think it should be the strongest, strongest boy. <laughs> strongest boy. It should be prime minister. Str yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Problem nowadays is all these Korean politicians. That's what people say, isn't it? The Korean politicians? Yeah. I think you might have misunderstood. That's the, that's the issue. You, yeah, it's all the fucking Koreans. Yeah. Because, you know, we could all do what you do, mate. Just fucking put an earpiece in, rip it out, and shout about the news, you know? Anyone can do that. Cool. Fucking, all right, here we go. 
Oh, my name's been Jonathan Pye. Fuck it. Oh, it's stuck. Ah! Oh, Fucking hell.